Hey everyone, Ernie Tech here, and today is a pretty cool day. We have a firmware update for our friendly, venerable G90, brought to us by uh, Seagoo, and brought to us by a fine gentleman by the name of Gary Sargent, who is on the G90 Facebook users group, and um, he posted today about its existence, also put the files up on the, um, the files directory in the Facebook group. And um, using the uh, farnsworth.org utility, we're going to update the G90. And doing a firmware update law is always a little dangerous, always fraught with, uh, you know, what could happen next. We don't want another brick, um, if we could avoid it. Anyway, there's a lot of improvements here. And one of them, I'm told, is that it will improve the way that the audio works and that you'll have a better experience with the volume control, which we all want. Better um, filtering and more, I don't know. Uh, better user experience. How's that? Well, we'll find out what it's all about. Anyway, this particular update is version 1.79 Baker 02, for those of you keeping count. And the way you do this is pretty simple. So if you don't have the GW update utility or the um, G90 update utility, here's what you got to do. You got to go to farnsworth.org and find it. I'll give you the link there in the description. And um, then you have to go to the Facebook page and to the G90 users group and download from the files directory the two utilities, to, I mean the two, not utilities, the two firmware files. Remember, there are two of them for the G90. The G90 has a back-end brain and a front-end brain, like a dinosaur. It's got a brain in the tail and a brain in the head. And you have to update them independent of each other. So, without further ado. All right, here's a, another thing I want to point out, really important. Uh, when you buy this radio, and hopefully if you bought it used, this came with it, because it's pretty useful. It comes with a blue dongle. If you got one with a black dongle, eh, I don't know, it probably will work. I don't know, but I've heard bad things. This is the one that came with the one that I bought from Ham Radio Outlet about uh, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago. This has got an FTDI chip in it, and it will use the old FTDI um, stuff. So it should work plug and play. If not, there is another link in the description of there where you find the stuff for this guy, the drivers, as it were. Right, I'm going to plug this thing back into my USB port. All right, we're in. So from that thing, you go into the back of the radio, you go to the center connector. It says COMM, not to the other two. The center connector is the one. Let me show you up on the screen. Okie dokie. So um, I have it already typed in here to make it easy. I put the files into a temp directory. You put what you want. The name of the utility is called G90 Update FW. I'll bet you that stands for G90 Update Firmware. Uh, it's just a hunch. It comes from Farnsworth.org. Worked like a charm. Never bricked anything. Yeah, your mileage may, may vary. All right, and then the actual firmware file for the back-end unit for the dinosaur in the bay and the tail is this uh, G90 main unit FW firmware version 1.79 B as in boy 02 XGF space NCOM 5. Not, what is your COM port? I don't know. It's different from mine. But you should find out which one it is first by going to your... Um, Favorite utility, in this case here, it's a Windows machine, so you go to Device Manager and see which COM port is assigned to the little blue guy. All right, here's the trick. Watch this carefully, boys and girls. you got to leave the radio off. Yeah, yeah, it's the truth. Leave the radio off. Have that all in your, uh, you know, command line there. I run the command prompt as administrator. Probably don't have to, but it's another thing you don't have to worry about. Things go sideways. All right, press the Enter key. She says, I'm waiting for you to hit a key. It asks you to disconnect, reconnect, and all that. I don't do that. I just power on the radio. So let's see what she does. All right. Immediately, it discovers the radio is turned on. And it's going into the upload cycle. And it's talking to the radio because the radio is now saying com lost. That's a good thing. It's uploading dots, lots of dots, firmware dots. Unlike regular dots, these are firmware dots. And we're on to the fifth line, and this uh, fifth line, up, oh, and she's done. Rebooting, what? Doesn't matter. Okay. Now, let's turn her off. She's running, but let's turn her off. All right. Disconnect this guy from the center. Man, I got to get that monitor fixed up better. Not today. 
Take her around to the front to the uh, dinosaur brain. Put it into the bottom jack. Jack. Plug her in. Here's the trick. Now go to the disp unit. So you can just back up four spaces and type in D-I-S-P to get rid of main. They're both. There's two files. You, you get it. I mean, I hope. All right. And then same thing. Now we're going to update the, the firmware in the head of the dinosaur. Press your enter key. Hits the power button. Look at that. No fear whatsoever. Uh, weather? Ever. <sighs> okay, more dots. More firmware dots being uploaded. Firmware dots. How's it going? How's uh, everything in your neck of the woods? It's all fine over here. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Number four line. Maybe. See, interestingly enough, hello. Um, it's got fewer lines of dots for the head unit. You think there's any correlation? I doubt it. Turn her off. Disconnect the cable. Now you're on your own, boys. Now you have been released from the mothership. You are now an independent entity. Let's crank you up here so you can see the radio and my little graphic doodad next to her big brother, the Yesu 991A. Let's turn her on. Hello. Yep, she's on. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. And I will tell you right off the bat, without even playing around with it, the volume control is so smooth. Look at that. Oh, my heart sings. The other thing I noticed right off the bat, I got a lot to consider on this thing, play with it. Purple. It's purple inside the bandwidth um, bubble there. So it tells me something has changed. I can't wait to play with this thing. Uh, I'm going to have a blast, and then we'll do another video about all the things that have changed. Okay, that's how you update the firmware in the G90 with the latest and greatest called the V1.79 B as in boys 02 that Mr. Sargent was kind enough to upload to the Facebook users group and two files that you download, and you use the farnworth.org utility GW uh, update FW blah, blah, blah. It's a lot easier than the instructions they give you on how to do it with all the other things. This is a this is a blast and simple tip. All right, subscribe if you must, and I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to go play with this thing for a while. Bye for now.